This is how you play back your clips and work with them. As you can see, we're currently in the camera screen by looking up here to the top left. We want to go into playing back video. Now off to the right here, if this is pretty much always up. Um, if it's not, it might look like this and you can just hit this button to open it up. And if your time and date stamp isn't there, you can click on the clock to open it. And then you can pick your day. Whether you're looking for a particular week and month or a particular day. Once you've selected a day, let's say uh, yesterday, uh, you'll get the hours of the day and you'll see these graphs. All these graphs mean is they just try to give you a rough idea what hour you have more video than others. So we can just um, move this red line around if you will and it'll, it'll just try to line this up generally. It tries to get you close to the particular time of day that you're looking for. And uh, once you've said, okay, we want to look at, um, you know, let's say two, three o'clock in the afternoon, you can come here and we can organize these tiles. If you look here, the time is 12.30 and this is 7 a.m. We can change and uh, by selecting this area, area, it just goes first to last or last to first by moving this arrow. So uh, the arrows there, this is where you would select your cameras, the timeline, if you want to go into stored clips, uh, or if you just want to see the very newest clips and you just want to load those, you can. So uh, up here, pick your day. Then once you've picked your day, you've got your hours in the day. And then what you have is this is the first picture of every video that's in that particular clip. So let's go to the afternoon and let's say we want to review this clip right here. We just left click on it twice and it populates and you can start watching the video. All the way down here in the bottom left we can pause the video or we can go forward one step or we can go backward one step or we can speed the video up or we can slow the video down by sliding this right here. Uh, we can increase or decrease volume or we can grab a hold of this right here and we can just move it to where we want to go here. So if we click play and then we decide that we want to stop here. If you want to scroll in on the video you just roll your mouse and then you can roll your mouse back out, roll in, roll out. You can begin play again, pressing the play button. If you only want a particular part of this video, if you look right here, there's a little green arrow and we can move this over to, let's say here, and then we can grab this red arrow and we can move that over to here. And what we have is a start and a stop point. So if we hit the play button again, it's only going to play the video between the start and the stop. So if you happen to have, let's say, two hours of video, but you're really only looking for a small area and you want to be able to set that, you can do it that way by creating that start and stop point. Once you've created a start and a stop point, if you determine that that's the particular video that you want to export and save. All you have to do is just right click on the screen and go to trim and export. And you can save it as a Windows Media format if you want so it plays easy in Windows Media. Or you can save it as an AVI just as it is. And you can do one of two things. You can either replace the current file and it'll get rid of all the extra video before and after, or you can create a new file. And when you create a new file, you can pick where you want to save it on your hard drive. And, and, and that's it. Um, really very simple as far as backing up video. Um, if you want to play a particular video and you want to save it, let's, let's say this video right here we see that this is something that we want to have. Um, what we can do is 
we can just right click on the video and we can click on protect and if you notice a little lock shows up right here now that video is not going to go away that's going to be saved when the hard drive writes over itself it'll still be there and uh, you can archive that or you can export it and just move it to another folder very very simple very easy to work with so once you found the video you want to see you can either right click on it and export it or you can save it to the hard drive uh, either way it's pretty simple and when you're all done you want to go back to normal cameras you just left click on your cameras and you're back here pretty simple if you have any other really deep questions I recommend that you come in here and you can go to working with clips and it'll give you extensive information about everything that I just covered.